This weekend, I finished reading Matilda, which is what I've been reading for the past month or so. The story was amazing, and the ending was unexpected. I also watched Matilda of a Musical of Zoe, and I listened to the soundtrack on Spotify. We saw If in the movie theater, and then I listened to the soundtrack on Spotify. One of my favorite songs name-wise is Calvin and Jobs, because this is the music from the scene that shows an imaginary friend and other imaginary friends at their jobs, and it sounds similar to Calvin and Hobbes. I actually heard of the soundtrack before I saw the movie since I got a notification about it from one of the artists I follow. I also updated my favorite songs from Sonic the Hedgehog playlist. I renamed it to Favorite Sonic Songs and I added a new thumbnail. We went to Pastor Murray and Wendy's Lake and the last time I went there was last summer so I was glad to be back. We swam in the lake for a while and since I had a day off from Champions today, this was my swimming time for this Monday. I also decided to untrap myself from the latest VeggieTales release. That's right, I felt trapped as I was listening since I wasn't in the mood for 8 hours of VeggieTales music, but at the same time, I felt like I had to listen to it as soon as it was released. So I finally did it. I removed it from my library since I didn't want to listen to it anymore, even though I'm glad I tried it. Instead, I listened to what I actually wanted to listen to. I listened to my newly updated Favorite Sonic Songs playlist and I made a new playlist on Spotify. It's called Favorite Video Game Songs and it has songs from a variety of video games I play. I also downloaded my Space Songs playlist. I made it a couple of months ago but I haven't listened to it yet. We ate grilled hot dogs and when it was time to leave, the phone I was listening to music on was at 1%. Thankfully, it survived the ride home and I charged it. So that wraps up my movie-themed Memorial Day weekend. This is the last week of school and after that, I'm done. I'll be on summer vacation and this summer is packed with fun things for me to do. June 2024 alone has plenty of special events too. So what are we waiting for? Let's finish this school year strong. Today, I went to school and I worked on my presentation of what I learned in my German independent study. We also listened to presentations given by TCA graduates. I'm going to a TCA graduation on June 1st and I'm going to share my experience next week. We didn't eat lunch in the main building like we usually do. We took a walk to one of the nearby buildings on campus and ate lunch there. I ate my lunch at the picnic table and I listened to music being played from the speakers. It was very hot outside. Back in the main building, we watched CNN 10, which is what we used to watch before the world from A to Z. We watched last Friday episodes, the last show of the season. After school, I went to a champions program and there were only two helpers in the room, Noah and Miss Morgan. I showed Miss Morgan my pictures from last summer and I also read my journal from July through October 2023. One interesting thing from this journal was that I had a math helper named Emma. No, I'm not joking. She had the same name as one of my summer camp helpers last year, but it wasn't the same person. A couple minutes later, the third helper came into the room and it was Maxwell. The last time I saw him was March 28th, exactly two months ago. This was great timing since I read one of my journal entries that mentioned him earlier today. I talked to him about what I've been doing lately and I showed him last week's journal. We went to a gym and we played tennis. After that, we played Just Dance and then we walked on the track. And that wraps up a day with so many exciting things in one day. Hope we all have a great day tomorrow and I'm looking forward to sharing my German presentation tomorrow. <laughs> Today, I went to school and I added some finishing touches to my German presentation. In the afternoon, 
I listened to someone present something for their language independent study, and then I presented. Everyone liked my own Grimm's fairy tale, which I included in the presentation. I listened to someone else's presentation about their French independent study, and then we did another Guess the Latin Word game. After that was done, Dr. Scott told me that this concludes my independent study. This also concludes everything for this school year. Wow, I can't believe I'm finally done. I've done so many things this year. Be our dynamic universe class, Algebra 1A, Beyond the Words, Conflict and Resolution, Geometry, and German. And now I'm done with all that. To celebrate, I decided to take another day off from the Champions program. I normally have fun there, but I decided to take advantage of my extra free time because, yep, you guessed it, I've been doing homework these past few weeks too. I played some games, watched some Zebra Gamer videos, and I continue playing Breath of the Wild. On Saturday, I freed every Divine Beast for the first time since 2022. Last time, my goal was to complete every main quest before being the game, but now my goal is to complete a lot of shrines and side quests in the game so I can beat the game with confidence. So that wraps up another exciting day. I finished my German independent study, and did I mention that I finished two of my classes in one month? That's right, I finished my geometry unit on May 2nd, and I finished my independent study today. I also made a countdown to Camp Grand I Want to Go Again, which starts on June 17th. I hope to have a great day at Champions Bar tomorrow, and sometimes I miss going there every day. But I decided to take the day off today so I could relax after such an amazing accomplishment. Finishing my assignments for the year. I plan to go there every day in the first few weeks of summer, and I also plan on not missing a day of summer camp. We only have two more days of school left, and I hope to finish my year strong. Today, I listened to other people present their independent study projects, and then I went to a champions program. I saw Miss Talia, Miss Morgan, and Noah, and I told them some great news. I want to continue going to a champions program every day. In the past month, I've been taking some days off, but that was because I had a lot of things I needed to do, and I felt like having a break. But now that all my assignments are complete, I feel like going there again. I had Miss Talia play the Saga Hedgehog DJ style party on the speaker again, and I did a summer crossword. Miss Haley came to visit us, and I told her about the last day of school. We walked outside, and we went to a playground. It's been two months since I've been there, so I was glad to be back. When we got back, we watched a Mario movie, so I'm glad I chose today to come back to the Champions program. After we watched some of the movie, I got picked up by Dad, and then we went home. So that wraps up another great day. Tomorrow is World's Fair Day, and I made a video about it in 2018. So this is going to be a sequel to this video from six years ago. I thought about doing a World's Fair Day video a couple of years ago, but I didn't end up doing it. It was around that time that I renamed my old World's Fair Day video to World's Fair Day 2018. So that means I'm finally going to make this sequel six years later. Let's go! Today was the last day of school, and it was World's Fair Day. It was interesting having it on May 31st this year, since we usually do it in early June. But that makes sense because the last day of May is on a Friday this year. We start off the day by doing some fun activities. Some of my favorites were Guess Who with people from TCA and petting the horses. The horses remind me of the horses I see in my Zelda games. After the activities, I got my 2023 through 24 yearbook. When I opened it, I was glad to see that Miss Sarah was in the yearbook. I haven't seen her for three weeks now, and she's been gone since May 9th. I wonder what happened. I also like seeing the TCA Talent Show and National History Day in my yearbook, two of my favorite events this year. As I was looking at my yearbook, I saw Miss McKinley again. It's been three months since I last saw her, and I talked to her about what I've been doing lately, 
and my plans for this summer. During the fall, I saw her every Friday, but I've only seen her a couple times this year in 2024, so I'm glad she made it to the last day of school. This was great timing since I read my journal about the first week of school when she was there earlier this week. We watched a photo slideshow, I got some people to sign my yearbooks, and that's it for this school year. This year turned out better than I expected and it started off with a computer that needed fixing and I had to use one of the school computers. I remember when I wanted to listen to music and I had to use the Spotify website instead of the app and I wasn't used to how different it was. But then it got better. My computer was prepared in October and I was glad to go back to my favorite apps and games. I started going to the Champions program in November and I was glad to see my summer friends and some new people during the fall, winter, and spring. I was also enjoying my days at school as well, and I've grown in my relationships to other people. So that concludes the 2023 through 2024 school year. I went to a champions program and saw Robert and Miss Morgan. I was surprised to see Miss Morgan on a Friday. I also saw Miss Claire, who visited the room often. I played the Rayman Legends soundtrack on the speaker, and we went outside. We hung out for a while, and then we took a walk. When I got back to my music, I tried searching for the Tears of Hyrule album, but I couldn't find it. I looked at the artist page for the greatest bits, and it only displayed his releases from 2021 or earlier. Thank goodness all of them are available for me on Spotify. Morgan with a Y arrived, and it was her birthday. We went back inside, and we did a craft. We used coffee holders, markers, and some spray. My art pieces turned out pretty good. We also did a worksheet about writing down our strengths. My strengths include learning languages, making YouTube videos, making journals, making stories, and staying positive. I also wrote that I'm strengthening my relationships with other people. I also saw some more people come into a room. There was Miss Tolia and Grace. I haven't seen her for over a month. And I talked to her about World's Fair Day. I didn't actually read any journals about her this week, but I was still glad to see her. It was also interesting seeing her on a Friday, since I've only seen her on Thursdays before. So that wraps up another exciting week at Champions. Even though we finished the school year, there are still a few more weeks left. That's because my school got out earlier than most schools. There are a lot of exciting things planned for June, which is tomorrow as I write this. See you next week.